super so uh, we are in for an interesting uh, session uh, today uh, thanks everyone for joining in uh, we have uh, the team from blue stone x who will be talking about uh, uh, how they can actually help you sorry i think there was some echo for me is anyone else having an echo sounds can good to me whether... no it sounds okay okay so i think it was just uh, me who was having uh, the echo anyway so um, again thanks everyone for joining in today uh, we have the team from blue stone x uh, we'll talk about how you can automate uh, uh, the process for your data from your sap application how do you automate how you process data from sap application using the solutions that they have we have two uh, speakers from bluestone x we have uh, uh, dan barton uh, who's the co-founder and ux innovation lead um, he's also a serious lego serious play facilitator and uh, um, sap btp enterprise architect we also have firoz khan who's also the co-founder and uh, the solution owner for maestro uh, he's an sap enthusiast on a mission to design and develop smart tools and solutions for complex sap business processes um i'm pretty sure we're going to have an interesting session um, uh, going along a uh, few basic uh, rules as we go along so if you have any questions at any point in time please drop them on the chat we will take all the questions at the end of the session uh and i will facilitate the q and a at the end of the session uh, uh we will have time for the q and a as well with that um, i'll hand it over to dan to take us through uh, the session Thank you, Makesh. Uh, just confirm that you are seeing my screen. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, um, and it's a privilege for me. It's the first time I've ever presented to Indian user group. So, yeah. Thank you for having us. Um, so today we're going to walk through. Um, Uh, a family of solutions under the under the umbrella called Maestro. Uh, we're going to show you how you can automate some of your data processing and operational data as well. So I'm just going to give you a background. I'm going to quite quickly run through the slides, just a bit of background to us, uh, the product, where it's kind of um, where it's come from, um, and the ideas behind it. And then I'm going to hand over to Farrell, who's going to walk you through the basics of of Maestro. He's going to take you through some standard processing, and we'll also explain about how we utilize business technology platform, so formerly the SAP Cloud Platform, and how we do some of this really nice uh, automation um, elements to it. And if we get time, hopefully, we're going to show you how why Maestro is a kind of a bit of a game changer. It is a no code environment. So hopefully we'll have time just to show you the configuration element of this as well. So very quickly, when it comes to Bluestone X, we always explain the X in Bluestone X is about user experience and innovation. Uh, we are part of the SCP App House Network, which is a quite a small network of partners working alongside SCP for, for customer innovation. In terms of the services, what you'd expect there, user experience. We do a lot of business technology platform and master data services, which we're going to cover today. And the products really that we're going to focus on, you can see here, we're, we're very much uh, Fury-based uh, UI5 technology. Um, we have a number of cloud applications as well, but we're going to focus on the right-hand side here around Maestro, which is our no-code data processing and data governance platform. And we'll also show you some other interesting areas around certainly the topic of business partners, uh, where we have, uh, again, utilizing SAP business technology platform and Maestro to kind of automate your business partner onboarding and ongoing management. I won't talk about the clients uh, and I won't even take you through um, some of the case studies we've got. Um, I think that's up to you folks to have a look on the website and read at your leisure. I won't go through this today. Just an interesting concept before we move on to a demo really is the fact that through SAP Business Technology Platform and Maestro, we're now able to offer customers data processing as a service, which kind of includes the 
uh, the resources and the technology to kind of automate your business. So this is quite a, I guess it's a, it's a, it's a not a new concept, but it is a new concept when we start talking about some of the technology that we're using. And lastly, this theme is going to become more and more. You've probably, um, if you're an SAP fan, as we are, you'll you'll notice some of the BPM top topics or business process management topics. And as you can see here, there are a number of areas within BPM from discovering, modeling data, analyzing, and being able to measure your business processes. Uh, and where we focus really is on, on the last side, which is all about improvement, optimization, and, and, and automation. Um, there are a number of trends out there at the moment. Again, there's blogs on our website about BPM and why data processing should be inherent as part of BPM. Um, it's quite an important factor. Certainly, if, if clients are looking to become more and more agile, then BPM is quite a, a nice topic area. So I won't go through these trends. I think Mukesh is going to get the slides at the end. Um, and hopefully, yeah, it's a topic that might resonate with some of you out there. Just finally then, I just want to explain the way we've approached data, data processing and data strategy. So the top line here is normally the sequence of events that, that people in um, corporations typically follow. So, and this is based on seven or eight years of studying uh, data processing. So we see often as not, people will spend a lot of time profiling data, trying to understand data, spend a lot of time trying to review and clean up data, and then eventually move on to business as usual or managing data. At Bluestone X, we start with the business process associated with data. So whether you're creating data, changing data, extending data, we normally start with managing data. So try and understand your business process. And the reason that we do that is because once you start managing your data, you are able to understand it a lot quicker. And what you can do is based on the rules that you build to help you manage your data, you, you will able, you're able then to use those rules to review and cleanse your data. So it's a little bit of a, a flip around, but in terms of efficiency, this is a much more cost-effective way of approaching uh, data management. And what we're going to see today, as I said, is Maestro. There's a number of things in here we're going to touch on from chatbots and things like that, but we're going to focus on the core. Yeah, so we're going to focus on Maestro and what it is. Um, so just to position it before I hand over to, to Faros, what is Maestro? It's a no-code platform. It is a, an add-on for your ERP where it governs your processes associated with data. So it's completely no code. It's very much process driven. We deliver it with predefined uh, content. Uh, content. Um, and it basically it gives you the ability to not only manage your process, but make sure you can automate, govern and add quality and governance into those steps. You'll see some of this stuff, some quite nice uh, UIs associated with it. Um, so again, with Maestro, you've got a number of options. We'll explain the architecture. Um, but you'll see some quite nice uh, UI5 uh, launchpad and applications contained within. And then in terms of why, well, hopefully this will come through from the demo. Uh, but when you compare Maestro, because it is a, a no-code uh, platform, compared to other technologies out in the marketplace, I guess it's that time to value. So Maestro is all about scalability, flexibility, um, efficiency when it comes to uh, timelines, but also the skill that you need in order to implement it. So it's quite a, an interesting proposition and it's why we're gaining quite a bit of traction in the marketplace, especially given the cost of living crisis that we're, we're kind of Im impacted on at the moment. So Faraz is gonna show you some of our applications here. Um, for those of you, I'm not sure how many of you are still running SAP GUI, it, the good news is it's available in SAP GUI, but what we like to do is leverage business technology platform and connect you to Fury Launchpad services that reside in business technology platform. There are a number of apps here. Um, and again, the beauty of Maestro is when you configure Maestro and say, I want this process to be represented, I need these fields to be displayed. When you change the no code configuration menu, all the UI5 actually responds and is built for you. So it's quite a really nice, um, really nice bit of Maestro. So I'm gonna show you this very quickly and then I'm gonna hand over in terms of the objects that we cover. How we explain it to people is we'll cover anything that lives in SAP, any object, but we also cover 
secondary objects so things like pricing um, purchase info records anything that kind of touches an SAP system maestro can can handle and of course we give the ability to for you the customer to create your own custom objects so if you have a lot of Z or you want to handle a process that doesn't even live within SAP today it can be built in maestro using custom objects um, <clears throat> the methodology hopefully you'll get you'll get the idea that once it's deployed to your system, it's meant to be, I would call it a semi-agile. So you build it, you play it back in front of your kind of stakeholders and users. But the idea is that you build it within hours and days, not weeks and months. So a different kind of me uh, methodology as opposed to some of the other kind of data solutions that are right there. I won't talk this, uh, this slide. I think it will become obvious. Um, I'm not a salesman. Hopefully you, you'll get the idea of what Meister is all about. As I said, GUI. Ferrells will probably just show you some of the SAP GUI uh, configuration menu. So you can go in, change stuff, and then obviously the UI5 uh, elements are changed. But the good news is it just comes delivered as SAP GUI. But most of all, I think 95% of our customers actually use the SAP Fury Launchpad and the UI5 applications, all delivered via business technology platform services. Okay, that's enough of me. Um, just to set the scene then, so um, Farrells, I believe you're going to show a product or a material master. And yeah. the process that we're going to show is a user will go in and create a request for new product. And based on the process that you've configured, Maestro will kick off a series of tasks. Those tasks could be requesting information from different departments. It could be automated tasks where Maestro is populating the data. And then eventually it will come back into a data owner ready for um, approval which will in turn update SAP. Um, so it is as simple as that. By the way, when, when you see things like create requests, this can also be uh, automated or system driven, doesn't always have to be a human. So I'll take the example is if you are using maybe an SAP c to c or you're using maybe an external product like Salesforce for customer, as an example, you could have Salesforce creating the request for you then to enrich the data in SAP. Maestro will look after the workflow, look after the rules, create the data and pass the data back to Salesforce to keep everything in line. So that's the idea behind it in terms of the process flow. And there's an example from an operational point of view. You've got an end user creating a request. I need a new product or I, I have a new product launch. It will come in to the relevant parties within your organization to either sense check, enrich or approve data and get approved creating the data in SAP. So that's the idea behind it. Um, I think I'm going to hand over to you, Farrah, so I'm going to stop sharing at this point. Okay. Over to you. Thank you, Dan. Just confirm if you can see my screen. Yes, we can. Uh, yes, we can. All right. Thank you. So uh, good afternoon, good morning, everyone. Um, so we, I'm going to demo you um, a material master process using Maestro as a framework. So the, the topic today was, you know, automation. How can we bring in automation to your data, to your master data, and to your transactional data? So as part of the demo, I'm only going to cover material master. But you don't have to stop there. Like as Dan was saying earlier, you know, Maestro is, is a framework and you can use Maestro not just for master data, but for other elements of the master data, as well as managing your, you know, a business process within your company, like, a, a, you know, order to pay sales order delivery and things like that. Maestro can be used as a framework. Okay. So for demo purposes, I'm just going to show you how easy and how quickly you can process your data, whether it be a master data or transactional data, okay? So let's start with the demo. I'm on my Fury launch pad here, okay? Using BTP environment, and I'm gonna start the new request. Now, all I'm doing now here is, I'm a requester saying I need a new material. So based on my authorizations and the, the access been granted to me, I'm gonna select, I'm, I can do, in Maestro, you can do a create change and extend and also an align. So I'm gonna do a new product today. And from the drop down, I select what, what I'm gonna be doing. I'm doing a material master and a brief description here. So I'm just gonna say a demo material. 
and it's a it's a free text you can input anything and then the org division uh, and i select the region course so the, these fields are purely for reporting purposes you don't have to fill in we can hide those two uh, and priority high low medium and then once i've done that i select the template so for each of these objects you can create templates so for example you know uh, you can have a one template for your finished goods, one template for your raw materials, one template for your packaging materials. And templates are nothing but it's a, it's a workflow. Uh, and then all associated rules with that workflow. And this is, this is purely a configuration within a Maestro IMG. You know, you don't need ABAPers, you don't need any developers, UIFI consultants, or data consultants to do this. You simply do this in configuration, which I'll show you if time permits. So I'm just going to select the, the third material demo here. Now it's prompting, prompting me to search. This is part of our governance process to say, you know, you search before you create, but I'm not going to search it. And it comes back to me with the screen. First of all, you know, it comes uh, with an expected completion date. So this is the date by when I'll be able to finish this, uh, finish this workflow. This is based on the SLAs you define within Maestro. So against each of the workflow steps, you can have X number of days, and then Maestro will tell you that by 15th, you're gonna complete. Now, once I minimize this, I'm being presented with this requested form. Now, because I'm doing a material master in this case, this view is a basic data one view. Now you can start to compare this with your SAP views, now, this is a condensed version of what you have in SAP. Now, using the power of Maestro framework, this is where you can start to design your own forms. So in BD1, in backend SAP has got 20 plus fields. In Maestro, you can bring in any, any number of fields which is there in, in your catalog, but also you can start to add in your Z fields, which are not part of your SAP. You know, you might want to add Z fields for your reporting purposes, or Z fields which are there as part of your enhancements. You can change everything you see, see on the screen, including the labels. You can make fields mandatory, which are not mandatory. You can attach F4 helps. So, you know, in, in short, everything on the screen is configurable using Maestro configuration options. So as a requester now, all I'm doing is I'm saying, what is the description here? So I'm saying material demo. Uh, units of measure, if I press F4 drop downs, you know, these drop downs are all coming in from your backend SAP. You don't have to redefine them because Maestro is deployed on your ECC or S4 system. And then uh, you, you, you can basically add your own F4 drop downs as well. So, for example, on material groups, um, you know, the list could be redundant list, it could be huge, massive list, and you want to have your own list. Again, Maestro allows you to define your own drop down kind of a list in here. So as a requester, I've just filled in material description, units of measure and material group. I do a status complete and move on. Now come back to the next view, which is asking me which plants and storage location you want. So as a rule, I'm say, I want it to be against 1000 and 2000. Now this can also be hidden from the user as a rule. If you, if you know always you're gonna create it to certain plants and storage location. But for demo, I've left it open there. Status complete, move on. Same concept with the sales organization and distribution channel. You can add as many sales organization distribution channel as well, you know, by means of rules. Status complete, move on. Same I'm gonna do with the class types and classification in here. You can add as many class types, class numbers you want in here, and then status complete, that's it. So as a requester, I've just, filled in the basic data view one and said which plant I want this material to be extended. All I'm gonna do now is say create request. Now at this stage, Maestro is gonna generate a unique uh, reference number for this request. And now a workflow is triggered. So everyone who is involved with that workflow should get an email notification via Outlook. We have an integration with the Outlook, a link within the Outlook will take you directly to the task or you can come back to your launch pad, click on my task list, and you can see all the open requests against your name. Okay, now I belong to all the tasks in here. That's why I see all the open tasks. So for this template, we have a process that is a six step process saying it to me, go and collect the MRP data, go and collect the sales data, go and collect finance. And once all the data is collected, do a final approval, and that's where it's gonna now 
generate my material master in, in the in a backend SAP system. I see all the tasks because I belong to all the owner groups. But if I only responsible for finance data, then I'll only see finance. And if I only responsible for MRP, then I'll only see MRP data. Now there are dependencies here, which means you know I cannot do a final approval unless you have done the first few steps. Again, this is all configuration. So Maestro is just a framework. You define this workflow as you wish. Okay, you can, I'll show you in a while. Now, the, there are two steps for the MRP. Now, the reason it has split up MRP into two for demo purposes, this is, uh, we're not saying this is gonna be the process you're gonna follow it, but for demo purposes, we have configured MRP to be split across to two different owner groups, because if you remember, I created it for two different plants. Now I click on this MRP task. I see the, the requester is filled in this. I say status complete and the rest of the data is all coming in via rules now. So this is the power of automation here. You know, I've completely defaulted all my rules based on certain conditions here, based on plants or whatever you have as, as a business rule. And all the, the user has to do is either change things or mark status complete and that's it and save. Now. Remember, this is an SAP solution. So all the validation is gonna happen real time, which means I cannot input an invalid MRP group or an MRP controller. So it will adhere to all your SAP standards. Now I move on, do the second step of the process, which is for plan 2000. Again, all everything is defaulted by means of rules. I don't have to do anything, status complete and move on. Now. I am doing this process steps manually, but if you talk about automation, these process steps can be put in the background and executed automatically, okay? But for demo purposes, I'm just going and showing you all of this. So I did an MRP view. Now I go on to the sales view. Again, same concept, same look and feel of the screens. I go into the sales view, look at the data. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Uh, sales view and status complete. So all the user has to do is visit the view, look at the data, fill in the data, and then status complete. So again, on the finance view, I've been asked to input the pricing here, you know, standard price or moving average price, whatever it is, I move, I save it, and then this, the task is completed. Now, it has not created my SAP data yet because I'm still going through my workflow processes, okay? It has it has not updated backend SAP system yet because I have not executed my BAPI. Now, if you wanted, you could have run the BAPI at any stage of the process. And again, it's configuration in Maestro where you can go in and say, I want to run a BAPI at this stage, or I want to run certain steps at this stage. Okay. Now, where I reached my final approval step. Now, as an approver, I review all the data. At this stage, I have an option where I could reject it back or send it for a review or approve it. You know, So while, while reviewing the data, I find somebody has done a mistake in MRP, I can reject it back to the MRP step and then let the user correct the data and then it comes back to me. So in, the, in this instance, I'm just gonna approve all the data because all the data looks fine to me and I press approve. And at this stage now, it goes and creates a, a material master in the backend system. Okay, nice and easy and simple. So this is this is the power of Maestro where we saying, you know, you bring in your automate, you, you bring in the governance, but at the same time, bring in the automation. Now, uh, in most of the steps I executed manually, but as I said, it can also be done via an IRPA bots using BTP environment. The request itself can be created with IRPA bot, which Dan will cover it later on uh, in this session. Um, and also uh, we can then follow on with any other additional steps in the process. So for example, once you've created the material master, you might want to go and do uh, other follow on functions like pricing or sales order pricing or uh, purchase info records. They can all be added using configuration in here, okay? Now, this is just an additional step saying, go and update Z tables, but I'm not gonna do it here. Uh, the process for material master ends here, okay? Well, I hope everybody got the gist of this and just quickly show you uh, how this looks like in, in my backend uh, SAP system. So this is, I'm logged on, uh, on, I'm logging on to Maestro in traditional SAP GUI system here. 
So let me bear with me while I log on, if I can remember my password. Yeah, um, so I'm logged on onto Maestro here. Yeah? This is Maestro in the GUI world. And this is where you start to configure Maestro, not just for master data processes, but for you know other other processes, custom objects, any any automation you need to bring in, you can configure it. So as part of the standard deployment, we we supply all the catalogs for you. You know whether it's a material master catalog or or a business partner catalog or any other custom object you wish to decide. We'll supply all the catalogs. So th this is what the catalog looks like. So material master. Within Material Master, you have all the views and everything. This, so this is pre, all predefined for you. You don't have to do anything. Now, just to show you quickly how easy it is to configure the rules. So if I take on an example of the Material Master demo template, which I was showing you earlier. So this was my demo template. And I show you, this is the process that we have just seen, right? Now, if you need to define a new process, all you need to do is click on new entries and add it, or you, know, you can start to, uh, delete any process steps or take a copy of this and create your own template. So um, you put a description to the step, you define your owner groups, you define dependency steps, and most importantly, against each of these steps, you say what views the user get to say, whether they are read-only steps or whether the user is allowed to edit those steps. So nice and easy there. There are more uh, uh, advanced options in there. So for example, you know, the MRP steps, you can make it as an org dependent workflow saying, you know, if the value of the plant is 1000, then I want the MRP group to be this. And if it, the value is 2000, then MRP group needs to be this. So you, you have plenty of configuration options. So this is all um, being done in your development client. And then once you make the changes, it follows your SAP standard process of creation of transports, then you can take it to quality and then move from quality onto your production system. Now, quickly just showing you on the rules, uh, Maestro is a very extensive role engine ranging from standard default values to writing your own user exits and ABAP. But just to show you how easy it is to write a default value rule, for an example. So you create something called as rule IDs and against the rule IDs, you just define the rules. So you just say, you know, view name, field name, and what the value should be. As simple as what you see on the screen here. I, every, anyone, you know, who has, who has got a little bit of knowledge of how to use SAP configuration can do this. And then you can also then start to assign the conditions behind it uh, by, by means of AND and OR statements. You know, you can say, put that value if it only meets this condition. So again, you know, anyone with a little knowledge of writing logical statements can easily configure this. You don't need to have a technical knowledge on this. So that was on the default value rule. Uh, similarly, you have uh, field control rules. So this is where you then start to make fields uh, input read only mandatory. Again, same logic, put the view name, field name, and whether it's a hidden field, read only fields, or whether you want to make it required or recommended. Again, they can be based on conditions as well. So this is a framework, um, allows you to configure your master data processes, automate your master data processes, but also gives you an option uh, to bring in other SAP processes all under one umbrella. So you can go and manage uh, your processes all through within your SAP environment. You don't need any other infrastructure or hardware to run Maestro. It is all done via your SAP uh, ABAP stack. Okay. Um, at this stage, I'll hand over to Dan just to run through some of the IRPA bots and other sales order processing. So over to you, Dan. Thanks, Faros. So can I just confirm you can see my screen? Yeah, yeah. So I guess a lot of people in the audience are probably wondering, so what? Why, why, why is this order automation? Because there's a lot, you know, there are products out there that can kind of manage workflow. You've got obviously SAP's product themselves, so MDG. You've got other customers using maybe LSMWs or they've built their own custom uh, kind of workflow. I guess where, where Maestro has the edge really, it's, as I said, it's that agility and flexibility. You can configure data processing within hours and days. Um, so within our 
family of products, what Farrell's has just been showing you is the kind of what we call the core, where you can quickly establish rules via no code. You can manage your processes. You can track your processes. We can carry out duplicate checks. And I guess the real kind of user advantage is we're simplifying everything in the UI. So we're using UI5, we're using B2P um, to kind of give that user experience within the Maestro core. I'm just going to touch on things like chatbots and IRPA and the difference. Now, obviously, a lot of customers out there, they may have already invested in products like MDG. So we can complement MDG. So Maestro can live alongside MDG and complement what MDG brings you today. But we can also deliver things like chatbots and IRPA specifically for MDG. So we're going to touch on a little bit of this, again, just to show you some of this whole mass processing uh, because what Farrah showed you there was he requested one material and it could be one plant, it could be two plants, it could be hundreds of plants all in the one request. So Maestro can handle processing like that directly within the, in the UI. This is a kind of typical mass processing scenario where you have a requester saying, I need, I've got a new product launch. I need 50 new products that I need to take to market. So this was in the old world, how it used to kind of happen. What we've introduced are things like, and by the way, this is for MDG as well. So for SAP's own product, we have built Maestro bots that can help. So the idea is with this, the requester, instead of logging on to a system to initiate a request, he can simply update the template in Excel format. And all they need to do is email it off. So they'll literally just email that template off saying, I need a new request. We have a bot that basically monitors emails and an email account. So let's let's call it MDG create request uh, email account. Um, the bot will monitor those emails coming in and it will extract the data. It will um, confirm the validity of the data and it will process the data. And it will interact back with the user as well. So it will say, I have created your, your request for you. So this is just a simple uh, process that I'm gonna show, but this is the power of automation using SAP business technology platform. So from a Maestro point of view, if you think of it, it's an add-on, it lives within your ERP, which could be ECC6 or it could be s for hana Okay, so it lives there, but we augment that product by enabling business technology platform services such as IRPA and chatbots to process mass requests. So it's a different user experience. Um, and again, it helps with the automation. So just to explain for those of you that don't know, there's a subtle different difference between chatbots and IRPA bots. The IRPA bots is, is essentially, it's processing uh, mundane tasks, typically using kind of email and Excel spreadsheets in our world. Um, but you can see here, we'll process primary data such as new product requests, new customer requests, or it could even do some of the, what we would call secondary data elements. So it might be sales orders, purchase orders. So this is where you can start combining data processing with operational processing. So again, I'm not going to talk through the slide. I'm just going to show you a little video here. So I'm just going to play the video. So in this example, we have a user emailing the help desk, uh, requesting for new uh, products. He's going to interact with a spreadsheet, which you can see here. We've got some basic data at the top. And this is for about 19 products, just to show uh, the power of what you can do. So you fill in the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is based on a template that you've configured. You enable the IRPA process. And what you actually do is the user emails it off. And then the bot will pick it up. And you can see here, the request has been successfully created. Now, if we log on to SAP and have a look at that request, you can see here that data has all come through, all with rules being run over the top of it. So it's valid and will send uh, the request on its way to the relevant approval groups. So again, it's just to get you guys thinking about how you can probably do things slightly differently using Maestro bots and B2P. So hopefully that makes sense. A really, really quick demo, but a nice and simple demo to show. If you're using things like LSMWs, where IT are having to get involved and take ownership of data, this actually moves the ownership of data back into the business and the technology takes care of the rest. So it's very much a, a nice way to enable certain aspects of it. Similarly with um, the secondary uh, data elements, so sales order, for example. So here you can see um, a spreadsheet. I'll just play the little video again, which we recorded earlier. 
So you can see here in this example is we're taking sales order information. And again, you guys are probably saying, well, we do this kind of thing today. You are, you, you're probably doing some of this stuff today, but what we're showing is you can configure things very, very quickly, get up and running very, very quickly in small bite-sized chunks and get that value within your organization. So you can see here, I'm gonna attach my uh, sales order template. And again, the Maestro bot is gonna process this. So we'll just change the delivery date here, attach to the email. So I'm sure if any of you SAP fans out there have watched a lot of the demos on B2P and IRPA uh, that SAP have run recently, it's following the same pattern. It's kind of standard services that are there, but we're using Maestro to kind of augment some of these things, manage the workflow, manage the email. Um, so it, it works really nicely. And you can see here orders being created. And if we just jump back into SAP, just to show that the sales order has been created, so again, obviously we're talking about data, master data and all that good stuff, but you can start merging into operational areas. And that's why I'm saying that whole BPM, business process management, is quite an important facet when it comes to uh, data. Data shouldn't just be uh, a kind of technical thing where you know lots of people from IT are getting involved. Data should be owned by the business because it's the business that's actually consuming the data. Okay, just another thing that I want to touch on um, and again, I'll show you the architecture behind this. So again, in the S4 world, you have to move to, to business partner uh, instead of customer and supplier. So what we developed, again, as part of Maestro, and it fits nicely with SAP MDG, or it can be a standalone uh, portal. So this is the ability to not only onboard, but almost give self-service to your suppliers and customers for things like addresses, bank details, things like that. We're using APIs, again, within a business technology platform to do those checks real time, okay? So I can check company registration, I can check my banking, I can check VAT, I can check address data, and many, many, many others. The beauty of this is it will flow either in M into MDG or it will flow into uh, Meister itself. Not only that, we just showed you some of the IRPA processes. So if you can imagine you are onboarding a customer or supplier, once they've registered in the portal, they can start exchanging data with you. So whether it's things like invoice data um, or Excel data that you, you need to interpret within your system, we have some really nice services in here. One is document information extraction. Again, SAP have done plenty of demos on this where it can read images, PDFs, JPEGs, extract the data, validate the data, and process the data within SAP. So what we're trying to do is remove that whole, you're engaging with a, with a business partner, but you're sending them emails and you're sending them attachments for them to populate. This takes all that away. Um, so again, Ariba and there's products out there that do some of this, but they don't do it that well. And it does take a lot of effort to do it. With Maestro, it's really simple because you're configuring that process in hours and days. So this is just to explain one of those processes. Yeah, so you've got a business partner uh, process here where somebody creates a request within MDG what would, or in Maestro. And what would happen is that customer or supplier will then get an email saying, hey, we'd like to onboard you and start trading with you. They'd go through the relevant uh, security checks. They'd onboard that data. They'd key in their data, which would get checked real time. Uh, once they've submitted their data, it would then flow into the relevant system. So in this case, it would be MDG. But in a lot of our cases, it's, it would flow into Maestro. Maestro would, again, validate, send on the workflow around the organization. So it just streams line, it streamlines a lot of the processes associated. And what we see today, there's a lot of people still doing Excel and email and Word documents and sending PDFs and sending uh proof of ownership of companies, it can all be automated using business technology platform and Maestro. And you can see here that um, you can even do it in a slightly different way. So we see a lot of organizations, um, depending on their industry sector, where they will have like a, a place on their website where they want to engage with business partners. And this is another good way. You could embed the Maestro business partner portal on the website external business partners can register. And again, that flow of information can come into your MDG or Maestro system. So it's quite a nice, simple way 
to start automating some of that business processes. Again, we've got chatbots. Um, if I get time, I will show you, but I'm looking at my time and I know that we're, uh, we're a little bit pushed here, but just to explain the architecture. So if we look on the right-hand side, okay? So whether you're an ECC or an S4HANA uh, customer, whether you have MDG or not, Maestro can live in that core environment. It's deployed via two transports, shipped with, with its own predefined templates. But you, as I said, you can copy it. You can create your own business process. You can create your own rules and you can get up and running. So you can run it directly in SAP uh, GUI. We can link to MDG if you've already got MDG. So Maestro is very strong in that whole manufacturing area, whereas MDG perhaps not so. So, you know, you could have a request from MDG flowing into Maestro. Maestro will do all the granular detailed stuff. But then what we have on this side is plugging you in as an organization to the SAP business technology platform. So this is where all the innovation layers come in now. So we have a database here, the business partner portal. So this is where your suppliers and customers can log in and start um, exchanging data, which will then get passed back to Maestro or MDG. We've all obviously got our UI5 layer here as well, which is our, our Fury experience. We have some nice analytics. We've got IRPA bots. We've got document information extraction. So there's a whole ton of services here where you can augment your business processes from S4 or ECC. So this is a little architecture diagram. Hopefully it makes sense to people. Um, and you simply connect via Cloud Connector. We have the ability to do all that single sign-on if you run it today, but it's a really, really nice way to get up and running consuming business technology platform and adding real value to your business. Thera spoke about the, the templates that we deliver. So again, the slides will come across to, to everybody, but essentially what we're saying is once we've shipped Maestro to your organization, the templates are there for whatever object you have, you have purchased. Um, so these templates can be quite quickly changed, tweaked to get you up and running really, really quickly. I think, Faraz, you've showed deep dive, but what I wanted to do very quickly is kind of show where we're going on some of this stuff. So obviously this is a Fury Launchpad uh, in B2P. Uh, so hopefully this uh, makes sense. Let me just move some of this over here a second. So you can see here, we've got a number of standard applications here. Um, and I just wanted to show you, we have a kind of really nice benchmark as well. So within Maestro, we've got things like health checks. So, so we can start, trying to ascertain the state of your, your material masters or your customer masters or your vendor masters or business partners. So we've got some really nice kind of health check uh, information here. We've also got some kind of, if you're running Maestro or running MDG, you can quickly get some nice analytics using the UI5 app to see what you've created by object. So we can have a look at materials. Um, so you can see here that we can, we can start tracking a number of uh, requests that have been created, that have been changed. Align, by the way, is quite a nice concept. So Align is all about you've, you've created some business rules and you want to take those business rules and throw them across your legacy data. And what Maestro will do is it will say, you told me for business partners, you wanted 45 uh, day payment terms for this region. Well, here's 200 business partners that don't actually meet that rule. So they're actually conflicting with your business rule. Do you want me to clean your data up? So Align is all about cleansing data based on your rules. So this is quite a nice little feature that we haven't had a chance to, to show you today. But you can see here in the Maestro Health, it gives you a nice view of things. And because we're so interested in that whole business process management, you can see start tracking you know, where you are, where your bottlenecks are within your process. So you can see you know, what's late, why it's late, you can start drilling down into the templates, which process step is actually a blocker within your organization. So again, we're not just talking about kind of, you know, MDG technical stuff, we're actually getting into that process layer. And from an R&D point of view, just to show you what's coming down the line. So we've just shown you some examples of the UI5 applications. Here you can see our new uh, UI5 applications that are coming out just for the create request. So in this example, again, I'm just showing you different look and feel to things using UI5. Everything is configurable from the from SAP GUI configuration, and it just responds within your um, uh, Maestro UI5 fields. So it's just to give you a, a view of what's actually coming down the line in terms of our uh, innovation layer. 
And these are just some of the examples here. Um, it's more kind of portal look and feel. It's still following Fury UI5 guidelines to a degree, um, but it's just giving a simpler, more intuitive, even mobile experience for even creating requests. So it's um, it's all the new stuff that's coming out from the R&D team within, within Bluestone X. So just finally then, before we look at the uh, Q&A, just wanted to touch on, on this stuff really about the, the takeaways. We've literally just skimmed the surface of what we're showing you. So yes, we're talking about business process management. Yes, we're talking about data automation. What Farrells has demonstrated today is just real simple. I want to create a product. What I would like you guys to, to, to take away from this is we have this layer of innovation in the business technology platform. Yeah, Maestro or MDG or Maestro and MDG work together. And then we're using these microservices in the cloud to really give you that edge when it comes to automating your data processes and operational processes. Key bits really, for me, having known some of the solutions that are right there and having worked with Maestro, it's scalable. You can configure things so very, very quickly and easily. I don't code. I'm, I'm more a business analyst than a functional consultant. I can build processes in Maestro. The skill sets that you need to build the processes, you just need to understand how a process works. Yes, it's good to have a little bit of knowledge about um, you know, master data in SAP, but not a huge amount. So the skill set that you need is more a business analyst, uh, functional consultant type role. So that always gives customers uh, a real nice advantage. And obviously, we're quick to deploy. Two transport files, you're away. Then we plug you into SAP Business Technology Platform. The integration stuff between talking to systems is really nice as well. So Ferros didn't show, but there is a node within the, the IMG where we can do the integration between systems. And the fact that you know Maestro is, is future-proof. So whether you're at ECC or S4, it lives there. And then we have all this augmentation and innovation layer from Business Technology Platform. So hopefully that made sense to people. Um, Vinay, do you just want to talk about this? Because if people are interested in getting their hands on chatbots, IRPA, Maestro, business partner portal, this is the place where people need to come and get their hands on it because we're going to be running an event. Mumbai, uh, Vinay, do you just want to mention this? Yes, absolutely. Hi, everybody. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you all uh, for being a part of this uh, demo session today. So we are the team Blue, <clears throat> Bluestone X. So as a part of uh, our, uh, our marketing campaigns in India, uh, the team Bluestone X would be uh, doing an event on the 3rd of August uh, at Mumbai. Uh, the venue is going to be so, uh, Sofitel Mumbai at Bantakulla Complex. So the entire team of us would be available there. So we will be basically deep diving on hyper automation using BTP and uh, uh, Mastro. Of course, Mastro is, is one of the flagship product that we would like to cover there. And we'll also touch base on, uh, you know, uh, I, IRPA and uh, machine learning with it. So uh, it would be great uh, to have you guys there as, uh, as part of the event. And we would really love to meet you there. Thank you. And yeah, uh, uh, for if you want to, if you're interested, my uh, uh, details are mentioned below. Uh, I'm Binay Menon. I handle business development uh, for Bluestone X in India. And my contact details are given there. So you can have a, a note of it and get in touch with me anytime. Thank you. Yeah, so if, if, if any of you folks are around that region on this date, obviously we're, we're, we're feeding you, we're getting you um, hands-on with some of the technology and to have those discussions around some of the, the bottlenecks and problems within your organization. And there'll be some nice giveaways as well, by the way. So if you're interested, please register with Vinay. Right. Mukesh, back over to you. Thanks, guys. Uh, there are already a lot of questions on the chat as well. Um, maybe, you know, let me ask some of these questions and uh, you can uh, answer those questions. And if someone who asked the question has some color to add to the questions that they've asked, they can do so as well. So the first question is from Ashish Athalye. So he's, in fact, asked three or four questions put together. So maybe I'll read out one question at a time. Um, whether requester access in Maestro should be the same as SAP authorization? Example, MM01, MM02 access, is it compulsory? Good question. Faraz, do you want to take that one? You're on mute, Faraz.
Yeah, sorry, sorry, guys, my bad. Yeah, in Maestro, uh, as a requester, no, you don't need an access to MMO1 or MMO2. All you need an access to Maestro create request transaction, that's it. Um, so the second question is, is any constraint on number of plans? Sales depots will have same data, so whether all data has to be filled compulsorily. No, no, you don't. It all depends upon your rules. You configure Maestro as you need. Um, any number of plans can be added, then there is no, no limitations to that. So whether task list and bomb is also delivered in Maestro? Yes, Ta it is. Task, yes, it is, yeah. So task <laughs> list as in a follow-on object you're talking about, yes. Uh, so bombs, uh, bombs is also part of uh, the X object, so yes. Whether custom fields can be added? Yeah, you... you you can add uh, as a as a standard deployment. We supply thirty Z fields, Z fields against each of the standard views. But over and above, you also have Z views which you can consume as you need, as per your business needs. So there's plenty of options on customizing. You're know, adding custom um, fields. Cool. So Srimati Chandrasekharan is asking, um, how is this different from Fury apps? As it looks very familiar to Fury, especially from security or authorization perspective. Is the uh, is the user buffer being used from their S4 HANA system? What sort of vulnerabilities could this expose the client data to? Okay, I'll take I'll take some of this stuff. So yes, it is designed with um, Fury principles and Fury guidelines. So they are Fury apps. The difference that you've probably seen here, if you have um, Fury on-prem systems, um, you typically have tiles that link to SAP B2P. OK, so that whole you're still using all the security layers that you've got within your S4 or ECC or your own gateway. Um, but we're using the UI layer in B2P. Obviously, it's got um, cloud identity. It's got all the trust management. So from a security point of view, you are only exposing the data via that secure tunnel to that user. No data lives in the cloud. Yeah. When people are processing data. So it's very much, you know, it's. It's locked down. SAP wouldn't be um, where they are with their business technology platform today if it wasn't secure. So 95% of our customers use this process. Super. So before I uh, ask the next question, maybe I'll launch a poll uh, in case someone wants to um, be contacted by um, Bluestone X. Please do respond to this poll um, as well. So she. Uh, so there is a question from Umesh. Is this an add-on uh, to SAP? Yes. Um, Srimati is another question is how to access this add on through SAP HANA backend or through SAP ECC system? Yeah. So, whether you are running S4 or ECC, you can access Maestro uh, directly from the GUI because it would live as part of your core system. And then, as I said, you have the option of then using all the Fury stuff in Business Technology Platform, which we help you to be onboarded that way. So yes, you can access directly through the back end. So Srinivas is asking, what about extending items across multiple legal entities or company codes in a single instance? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Faris, do you want to say that? Yeah, again, standard Maestro, you can extend it to any number of plants, company codes, depending upon what object you're using. So like in the dropdown I was showing you, there are options to create and extend and change. So Maestro supports that. So is there any um, security fixes that are needed uh, in order for this add-on to be uh, functioning? It's a private message to me, so you may not be able to see it on the chat. From a security point of view, obviously when we ship Meister, it comes with its own roles. And then typically you can embed those roles within your existing roles within your ECC or S4HANA system. So it follows all the security principles of SAP. That's, that's the key thing. Okay. So uh, um, question from Srinivas again, also do we need to purchase BTP licenses from SAP separately? Okay, normally two options. The customer can go directly to SAP and, and purchase them, or they can come to Bluestone X. We offer something called Partner Managed Cloud, which is basically, we have the, the contract with SAP, we onboard you, but it's your, it's your private BTP microservices. So you have two options. Again, 95% of our customers they use our partner managed cloud option just because ease of use and quick deployment. Okay. So Srimati is asking, just like we have a separate UI team for configuring Fury apps, will we need specialists to configure these apps? No, that's, that's the beauty of what you've just seen. So Faris showed you the SAP GUI configuration. 
where you can say, I want this field, I want this to be hidden. As soon as you save the configuration in Maestro, all the UI5 apps respond. So we have these OData services that respond. So literally it is no code. So I understand the pain today when you have to, you know, you have to change and tweak your UI5 applications. You don't have to do any of that with Maestro. So Gaurav is asking if we go with SAP IRPA, OCR services embedded into this, or do we need to buy separate OCR licenses? Again, same answer as before. You can come to Bluestone X. We do the partner managed cloud. We enable those services for you. You can go directly if you've already consumed some of these services from SAP, you can go straight to SAP. It's just we offer the partner managed cloud because it's easier for customers to get onboarded. And we've done this across many, many customers. So we can do it very, very effectively. They're your licenses, but we kind of manage them and help you uh, help you with those services. Super, so that kind of ends all the questions that I've already been put on chat. If anyone else has a question, uh, you can just raise your hand or unmute yourself and ask your question right now. We still have about a couple of minutes to go, so maybe one final question. If someone has. Yeah, and what, what I'd say, Mukesh, just, just to the audience, like the, the questions are really good questions. They're all the ones that I would be asking as well. But if people actually want to get their hands on, um, please contact Vinay, attend the event. We can give you a, a session with some of the analysts. You can get your hands on some of these uh, B2P services, or you can just configure Maestro to get your process up and running. We have plenty of uh, demo, um, demo boxes available. So good questions there, everyone. Super. So my humble request to everyone um, who have not already answered the poll to please answer the poll so that uh, uh, we know uh, whether or not you want to be contacted by Bluestone. Um, and if you have already answered the poll, thank you so much for doing so. And thank you so much, uh, Dan, uh, Firoz and Vinay for um, uh, doing the session, delivering the session, taking us through the content. And uh, yeah. Looking forward to seeing you again sometime soon. So I'll stay on call. I'll, I'll request the Bluestone team to stay on call as well, uh, just in case someone has a question uh, which uh, they might um, ask. So otherwise, uh, if you don't have any question, feel free to drop off, uh, but please do respond to the poll. Uh, Fedros, any plan to do the event in Chennai? <clears throat> no, we, we don't uh, have any plans. But, you know, if you need more information, we, we can arrange a, a personalized demo or, or a deep dive sessions with you and your team. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, Faros. Mm -hmm. I've, only, I've only been to India once before, and I'm going back next week. I'd like to go to Chennai at some point. Yeah, we... <laughs> In near future, yeah, if, if, we, if we get good response from Mumbai event, we're definitely going to go across. We, we have Bangalore as well, earmarked, and probably Chennai would be the next one as well. Okay, okay. so the costing would be based on number of services we use from Mastro X, or is it as a bundle? Yeah, so bundle? again, yeah, so we... we Based on what you need, we would bundle up the pricing. But if you think of Maestro, if you want to run product master or a business part, they're, they're normally licensed individually because it's not fair for a customer to buy a whole solution when they're only using a little part of it. So all the objects are licensed separately. And then if you use B2P, then that's normally a monthly, um, a monthly fee. Again, we can, we can explore that. You know, if you have real... Uh, needs if you kind of tell us you know what it is that you're looking to kind of manage we can provide like bundled pricing okay thank you okay i still see uh, uh, a lot of you on the call so i just wanted to check if you have any questions or maybe, you know, Feroz or Dan, if you want to have any last closing comments. No, I, I think, as I said, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but um, I've been involved in SCP technology for for many, many years now, as you can tell by my by my face and the, and the lines on it. But, um, yeah, working with a lot of data solutions and a lot of technical solutions, you know, this isn't about us kind of selling Maestro. It, it is literally a no-brainer for people to adopt technology like this because 
it's no code and you get all the latest and greatest technology through business technology platforms. So for me, it's absolutely great solution, but I, you know, I would say that, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, in that case, I think we are two minutes over. So thank you so much uh, everyone for taking time and uh, joining us today. And thanks uh, Bluestone X team for telling you. Take care. Thanks, Bye. Thanks, Bye -bye. Thanks everyone. Bye.